so scary. Just people in rubber masks. Not that. The zombie in the laundromat that got electrocuted. She was wearing my pink top. I miss that. And then the zombie on the bus that was dribbling slime. She was wearing my blue dress. Not your exact dress. Well, it may as well have been. I've got to do a clean out. I cannot be seen wearing the same clothes as a zombie. What? What's happening? Is that Ricky? What's she doing walking out of 30 Days of Love? That's a romance movie. What's she doing walking out with Zane? She probably just bumped into him and just being polite. Ricky's never polite. Lewis, have you seen Ricky this morning? No. Why? What's going on? We want you to tell us everything you know about Ricky and Zane. Let me think. Uh, Ricky, yeah, uh, she's smart and sassy. At first, I, I found her quite prickly. But no, there's certainly a soft side to her. As for Zane, Zane's just a spoiled rich kid who needs to buy himself a brain. Well, they're dating. <laughs> I'm afraid that's not possible. Ricky and Zane are sworn enemies. We saw them at the movies. They were definitely together. How together? Like, like fancy meeting you here together, or...? They had their arms around each other. No. No, what you saw were probably just two people that resembled Zane and Ricky. It was them, Lewis. Maybe... Maybe Zane was performing the Heimlich manoeuvre on Ricky. Lewis? Wrestling, perhaps? We want you to follow them. Watch them and report back. No. No, no, no. Why is it always me that has to do the following? We well, don't think I've got anything better to do? Like what? Lewis, you're better at blending in. You've got one of those everyman type faces. Please. She's probably just waiting for an appropriate time to tell you guys. That's it. Hi, guys. Did someone die? We were just talking about movies. What are you looking at? You haven't been choking recently, have you? What? Lewis? Sorry. We were just wondering if 30 Days of Love was worth seeing. I hear it's a romance movie. Well, we better get moving if we don't want to be late. Hey, watch it. I don't want to catch anything off you. Uh, I like intelligence. Oh, nice comeback, Lewis. I'm crushed. Totally crushed. What a loser. Waste of space. OK, so what have we got? Well, I sat next to Zane and Ricky in science and maths. Nothing. Not even eye contact. I didn't see anything in PE either. It must be pretty serious. Why would they be keeping it a secret otherwise? Well, I followed Zane around all day today. Unfortunately. And? Well, for someone who's in love, he's still very obnoxious. Although, he didn't kick any small defenceless animals today. That could be a sign that he's feeling all warm and fuzzy. I know we're not imagining this. It just seems so normal. Except, Ricky's not here. And there's no sign of Zane. Maybe mermaids are obliged to save people. Same as doctors. Zane. Sorry, won't mention it again. But we should go out sometime and look for her. Hey! Look at that dress. That is gorgeous, don't you think? I didn't think you wore dresses like that. Don't start thinking you know everything about me. I like to dress up sometimes. When I'm in the mood. So try it on. No way. By the time I could afford a dress like that, I'd be too big to fit into it. Hello? Hey, Em. Sure. I'll see you soon.
So what is it? We know about you and Zane. We saw you at the movies. That's what you dragged me all the way out here for, just to tell me that. It's no use trying to deny it. I'm not denying it. I was going to tell you once I thought you were mature enough to handle it. Friends don't keep secrets like that from one another. Well, this friend does. I don't see what all the fuss is about. He's practically hunting us, Ricky. Actually, it's me he's hunting. I'm the idiot who saved him. I've been trying to call you. I had the phone switched off. The whole purpose of me paying for your mobile phone is so I can call you. The leash would be cheaper. I'm hosting a luncheon on Saturday. I'd like you to be here. I've got other plans. Well, put it this way. It's an opportunity for you to earn some of your allowance money. Why don't you bring Miriam? I've got nothing to say to Miriam. Mm. I agree, she's no Oxford graduate. But she looks good. If I have to come, I want to invite someone else. A friend. Ricky. This is an important lunch for me, Zane. I want to impress some prospective investors. To present a strong family image. Ricky is the opposite of the kind of girl I want you to bring. You're underestimating, Zane. The obnoxious stuff is an act, most of the time. He tries to keep people away. Zane's going to keep looking for his mermaid. You going out with him is going to bring him closer to us. Thanks. So, not only am I stupid, I'm just as bad as Zane. Please, Ricky, we've all got to make sacrifices. So, what do you know about this Ricky girl? Enough to know that I like her. Have you met her family? No. Know anything about her background? No. So you're stuck on a girl you don't know anything about? Why? Look, I'll be at your stupid lunch thing, okay? Happy? It's too dangerous for you to keep seeing Zane. I don't interfere in your lives, so stay out of mine. Maybe you could try showing a little trust. It's Zane we don't trust. It's up to you to make a decision. Between you two and Zane. We can't let Zane get to us, Ricky. Don't make me do this. We're your friends and you need to make a choice. Friends don't give each other ultimatums. Zane's late. If he misses this, he can finish his education at boarding school. I'm sure he'll be here any minute. That's comforting. Why don't you stick to the catering, sweetheart? Neil, Lisa, and the gorgeous Emma. I'm thrilled you could come. Well, we're thrilled to be here, Harrison. Neil, how did you manage to get two stunners like this in your life? <laughs> uh, just put it down to luck, I guess. Well, you're about to get a whole lot luckier. <laughs> Everything all right? When you said we were going to lunch, I didn't realise it was going to be at Bennett's. Is that a problem? <sighs> Come on. It's not like you won't know anyone. Zane will be here. Come on. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. Don't argue. It's a present. You want the dress? Oh. Are you crazy? Do you still want it? Of course I want it. I love it. Thank you. So do you think you're in the mood to wear it right now? this place when I first got here. Mangrove swamp and lizards. It's amazing what you can do with vision and a bulldozer. Isn't that right, George? <laughs> Neil and Lisa, 
I'd like you to meet George Chan, the most influential property developer on the East Coast. Oh, pleasure to meet you, George. Likewise, Neil. Yeah, hello, Lisa. Pleasure. And George's lovely wife, June. And this is Candy. Neil's the real estate portfolio manager in town. Dad. You know, Ricky. Yes. Delighted you could come. Delighted to be invited. Ricky, you look lovely. Very glamorous, Ricky. Terrific. Let's eat. Everybody wants to go to the beach. If you've got sand and water, people will come. Believe me, the coastal boom is far from over. Could not agree more. What's wrong? Why would anything be wrong? There's coastal property surrounding us that's ripe for development. With your financial backing and Neil's sales experience, it'd be a shoe in But we'd need to move quickly to gain maximum returns. Um, excuse me, but do we have to develop it? Can't we just leave it alone sometimes? We need coastal reserves. Back me up here, Neil. You're a typical family man. Tell me you wouldn't jump at the chance to buy into some beach real estate. Well, I suppose I would be interested. Oh, as long as there was uh, some consideration for the environment. Oh, that goes without saying. Within reason. What are you doing? I'm liberating myself. Out with the old. Ready for the new. I am not a zombie. Well, you're actually going to throw clothes out. Well, I'm keeping half. But which half? That half. You don't like this half? Um, speaking of dresses, I, I just saw Zane give Ricky one. Really? Yeah. What kind of dress? Uh, it was, it was red, it was elegant, it was sexy. Elegant and sexy. That doesn't sound like Ricky. The dress is bad. Their relationship is more advanced than I thought. Can you ever imagine buying someone a dress? Not in this lifetime. It's all about location, as Neil will tell you. Today, Mako Island. Tomorrow, Pearl Sands Island Resort. Welcome to the future. Marina. Airport, golf course, hotel, shops. It's quite an idea. No, more than an idea. It's happening. I'm going to take a rock and turn it into a holiday destination. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. You haven't seen what I've seen out there. Thanks for your insight, Zane. No, no, let the boy speak. Go ahead. I know this is going to sound a bit out there, but it's true. I swear. I've seen a mermaid. A mermaid? Where? I think she lives somewhere near Mako Island. You can't develop it. Dad, is there really a mermaid? I uh, don't believe a word he says, Emily. I always bring my son along as a bit of comic relief. <laughs> Zane, why don't you tell everybody about the fairies you saw at the bottom of the garden? Ricky's not going to be able to keep the secret much longer. Sooner or later, she's just going to blurt it out. Well, she's going to need someone to talk to. Exactly. And that's why she thinks she only has Zane. It's all got to go. Perhaps we should ring Emma and just tell her about Ricky and the dress. Good idea. Are, are you really going to part with all this? Yep. Ancient history. I never knew it would feel this good. Her phone switched off. Should I leave a message? Mako Island will be transformed. The eastern side will house the timeshare component, the western side your private apartments. They in turn will act as a gateway to the pool and the Italianate piazza. How ugly. Is this your idea of good design? Well, I guess so. Feedback is always important, even from people who'll never be able to afford to live in a place like this. 
Why would anyone want to wreck nature for the sake of a piazza? People have more sense or at least taste, don't they? Maybe Ricky would like to visit the Rose Arbor. Who could enjoy a holiday knowing that 16 species were wiped out so they could sit by the pool and sip overpriced drinks? Ricky, can I just have a word? Now? Yeah. Ricky, you have to call it. This is my dad's lunch. This business stuff is his thing. Are they your thoughts or your dad's? This is not the time and place to be making an issue. Do you always pick your dad's side, even when you know he's wrong? Can you at least try thinking for yourself? Or do you have to ask Daddy first? I understand your concerns, but some developments can be eco-friendly. But Mako Island is unique. It's been untouched for thousands of years. Emma's got a valid point, darling. Emma's right. Developing Mako Island is wrong and greedy, not to mention stupid. The water surrounding the island is home to the largest population of Mako sharks. You think they're just going to pack up and move on when they hear you coming? Oh, and they're protected too. Look, hold the on The island is an underwater wilderness. Everything will be lost. The dolphins in the lagoons, the rare green turtles, the soft corals that aren't found anywhere else in the world. Dad, you're not going to hurt the dolphins and turtles, are you? Of course he isn't, Emily. There's more. It'll all be on the list I sent to the Environment Protection Agency. Once that's done, I'll contact the press and then I'll organise a petition. And I'll help her. Some things are worth saving. You can have this back. If you want to go on playing ventriloquist dummy to your dad, you can forget about being with me. Get this straight. I am not Miriam. So you can stay here, or you can come with me. Sit down, Zane. You just don't get it, do you? 
I am feeling monumentally great. What if your dad cuts your allowance? Whatever. I'll get a job. It just felt so good standing up to him like that. And I really loved what you had to say. I was pretty good, wasn't I? So do you believe me? Believe you what? Believe I saw a mermaid. I believe in you, Zane. I wish you guys had been at Zane's house. Ricky was amazing. Didn't you throw out that dress, Cleo? This one? No. Cleo, did you throw any dresses out? Not permanently. Not even the, the pink one, the one I saw in the zombie film? Well, I couldn't throw the pink top out. It goes to my mauve belt, and if I didn't have them, I'd have nothing to wear with my mushroom bag. Ricky, I heard you sabotaged Harrison's plans to develop Maker Island. That is so cool. This is a change. You're not going to ask me where I've been, who I've been with, what colour bra I'm wearing? Just out of curiosity, what colour? Lewis. Look, Ricky, I'm really sorry I underestimated you. Me too. I've got an idea. From now on, let's make a pact. No more secrets. I second that. I'll work on it, maybe. I just have one question. Get angry, but what do you see in Zane? He gets me. Oh. <gasps> you should um really watch where you're going. Oh, you want to take me on? Mm. Bad move. Oh. <laughs> Say you're sorry. No. Then accept the penalty. No. No. <laughs> what are you doing later on? You want to come out on the boat? Maybe another day. You always say that. You never know, we might see a mermaid. Zane, forget about the mermaid. I'm not coming out on the boat. Why? Why? Yeah, why? What is it with you? Why are you always so secretive? Ricky, what's up? Where did you get that locket in the window? That's just come in from the deceased estate. We don't have too many details on the history of the item. Can I see it? What's the big deal? It's exactly like Cleo's. So? How much is it? It's an antique. Very unusual. $250. Uh, wait. Um... Uh, you don't charge for photos as well, do you? <sighs> Sorry, I have to go. I'll catch you later. What were you doing with her? Miriam. Nothing. Hey, listen. Girls like getting jewellery, right? Like, as a gift? Yeah, but not that. I mean, it looks like something my Nana would wear. They're identical. Wow. Where'd you find it? At the mall. Me and Zane were just hanging out. You and... didn't tell him anything about the locket, did you? 
Well, I told him that it was the same as Cleo's and that I wanted it. And that we're mermaids. Kidding! That's not funny. You shouldn't have said anything about it at all. Secrets and more secrets. It's a pain in the neck. Look, maybe we should just concentrate on finding out more about the locket. What locket? Julia. Julia? She's gone? They said it was from a deceased estate. Deceased is... She's gone. It's all right. Julia was your friend, right? A very special friend. Yes. Like you three are to each other. Yours... Belong to Gracie. This is mine. And the last one, it was Julia's. We'll get it back, Miss Chatham. I'll make sure of it. Don't worry, Miss Chatham. Ricky will get the locket back. I'm sorry. I don't want to be a bother. It's fine, if you want to talk about it. Oh, yes. Talking's very good. It's healthy. <laughs> that and digestive biscuits. You can never get enough bran. Remember that, girls. So, tell us about Julia. I was 15. Julia, Gracie and I, we were just like you. The secret. We shared the adventure. I don't have to tell you how special that is. She was Miss Chatham's friend, and now she's gone. This locket means a lot to her. Any donations will be gratefully accepted. Ricky, I really don't have much money, and what I do have, I was planning on spending on something special. Lunch? Maybe. Hey, but none. Thank you. Great. This nearly gets us a deposit. And then we only need $200 after that. Any ideas? Yes. Um, window cleaning. Bikini car washing. Oh, you are funny. You are hysterical. No, I'm serious. This is really important. You know, this means a lot to Cleo, too. Leo. She'll be really cut if we don't get this. I think, in fact, I know she would really, really appreciate your help. Leave it to me. I am on it. I'm gonna raise that money. <laughs> Miriam! Do you like it when you lock it? Oh, it looks beautiful. It is, isn't it? Do you like it, Ricky? Oh, now I remember. I think Zane told me about how much you admired it. Maybe that's why I was so quick to buy it. Give it to me. What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Give it to me! Get away from me! Get off me! It's wrong! Get away, you crazy! Get off! Leave me alone. 
please. Don't. Did you tell Miriam that I wanted that locket? No. Maybe. I saw her at the mall. I asked her if girls like getting jewellery, that's all. Thanks a lot. I was thinking of buying it for you. Well, it's too late now, isn't it? You told her I liked it. She went out and got it just to get at me. You should have kept quiet. Do you still have feelings for that whining airhead? No, you know that. Look, if it matters that much, I'll buy you another one. There isn't another one. Well, there is, but it's part of the set. Okay, so why is it so important? Doesn't matter, forget about it. Forget about it. You almost tore Miriam apart. What is going on? You know what? I'm getting pretty sick of these secrets. So am I. Is there anything else I can do? No, I'm perfectly all right, thanks. Oh, this thing, it's so annoying. How much do you want for it? How do you too? Don't play games. I know you only bought it to have your little laugh, so how much do you want for it? I bought it, Zane, because I liked it. And I'm keeping it. What happened to us, Zane? We never broke up. Miriam, we were never together. must have been really hard on you, dealing with all that, when you were so young. No younger than you. <laughs> Ricky, did you get it? Um, it's being held. I'll tell you about it later. Miss Chatham was just telling us about our friends. They sounded great. Oh, well, we didn't always get along. Sometimes we argued. Sometimes we lie to each other. Even best friends will do that. Right, Ricky? My friends and I were all very different. Please, try to understand. I understand fine. Well, once You're it's jealous. About him, it's about us. We can't Julia, really leave. I don't care. I'm going. It was very headstrong. You're underestimating Carl. That obnoxious stuff is act most of the time. Thank you, Ricky. So, she could be a pain? <laughs> oh, we were all so close. Until, well, we found out that she had a boyfriend. She wanted to tell him everything. We tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. It was our secret, too. Carl's going to keep looking for his mermaid. Thanks. Good friends don't give each other ultimatum. No, please, Jilla, we all have to make sacrifices. I don't interfere in your life, so stay out of mine. She uh, threatened us. She was too powerful. There was nothing we could do. I don't see what the problem is. Secrets are what make this whole mermaid thing a pain. At least she had someone she could trust. I think uh, we need some exercise. Let's go. Come on. You too. Move it. I always thought exercise was overrated. <laughs> so like Julia. I always found the best way was to ignore her moods. And I often carried a tennis racket. It came in very useful. I'm out of here. Wait. Wait! It was up there. His name was Carl. He was smart, funny, rich. A bit of a bad boy, but very good looking. <laughs> she told him everything. I'm a mermaid. At first, he was very upset. When were you gonna tell me this? When I thought the time was right, and you gave me this. And... <laughs> I gave you this, not a fish. He wouldn't see her right. for a long time. And then one day he called, wanting to meet. We begged her. 
her not to go. But... She thought she could trust him. She thought he understood. She was so terribly happy. And so terribly wrong. He wanted to expose her to the whole world. Hey! He tried telling everyone about us. But people made a mockery of him. No one believed him. Julia closed up after that. She never really got over the betrayal. Well, that was then. Ricky. No, I know what she's trying to say. And I'm not like that. So what happened to Julia? It took time. But life goes on. We rebuilt our friendship and our trust. We gave each other the lockets as a symbol of our friendship, our secret. And we swore an oath. Keep the secret. Be there for one another and always be friends. She needs you. She doesn't know how much, but she does. Good luck. Come on, Dad doesn't want it at his place anymore. Why don't we just dump it back out at sea? No, it's proof. I want to keep it where I can see it. Whoa! That's a genuine cabin door from a 1968 custom cruiser. Where'd you find it? Salvaged it from a shipwreck. Yeah, Zane thinks a mermaid did this to save his life. Seriously? You want to sell it? Why is this always happening? Some help here. Just hold still. Stop. Ow. Okay. Stop it. You're making it worse. Just relax. Try to tilt your head. I am anymore, and that's why it's caught. Ow! I wish I never bought this thing. Ow! That was your fault. Fix it. You be great with all my other stuff. Cheers. Games, me, please. Listen, I've got a proposition. Cole, what's up? Oh, you are gonna love this. Yeah, I washed five cars, I got a loan for my brother, I hocked my gym set. Right, so... So? So, I got the money. I got the balance for the locket. Oh, right. Look, we're too late, it's been sold. I'm sorry, but thanks anyways. Ricky, if I get fat, it is your fault. You don't want it anymore. Why? Well, it's just well, I'm getting bored with it. And I'd gladly part with it for nothing. Nothing? What's the catch? Well, I will give it to you. For a kiss. Right here, right now. Just one. I mean, it doesn't mean anything. Meet me outside. I don't think you can. I only did it to get the locket. It didn't mean anything. 
I'm glad kissing someone means so little to you. Just wait here. Everything will be fine, you'll see. Just wait here. Miriam, that was pathetic. Oh, come on, Zane. You're not seriously interested in her. I mean, she's not your type. And you are? Of course I am. You and me, we're good together. We always were. Miriam, get this into your head. You were never my girlfriend. Not now, not ever. The locket. I'd give it to you. I only said I'd part with it. Now no one can have it. I'll go get it. You wait here. See ya. Before you say anything, I know this is all my fault. Yeah, it is. She told me she'd give me the locket. I should have known. I'm sorry I was dumb to kiss her. I'm, I'm a total idiot. I'm glad we've got that sorted. Wait. I'll get it for you. Zay! What are you doing? You want it, don't you? Well, yeah, I want it. That's all I need to know. Are you crazy? Emma's down there. Get him out of Zane. You're never going to find it. Yeah? Watch me. about all that other stuff. Here, take it. I got it for you. Ricky, it's wet. weird. Nothing. Nothing at all. Thanks a lot for this. It means a lot. So I'll catch you later? You didn't honestly think I was going to give up our secret to Zane, did you? You did. Oh, come on. Is there no trust? I'm really sorry about Julia, but I'm not her. I know, dear, I know. This belongs to you. You kept the secret. You deserve this, Ricky. <laughs> and this is yours. No, I couldn't. Don't be silly. Besides, it feels right that they're all together. The secret's yours now. We'll take good care of them. Yes, I think you will.
most important scientific discovery of the year? Somewhere to hold our school dance. Incorrect. Correct. The Marine Park double booked the function hall we hide and now we don't have a venue for the dance. Relax. Someone else will look after you. That someone else is us. I'm the chairperson of the organising committee. Well, I'm working on a scientific way that will make it easier for you guys to be mermaids. Maybe we could have like a street party. We could cordon off the roads around the school and have dancing in the street. I'll call the council. I'm losing it, aren't I? How about the cafe? Brilliant, that's way more intimate than a function room. And there's still enough room for dancing. You're a genius, Lewis. <laughs> hey, there's Miss Chatham. Can't we just wave? He sensed your upset. I sensed it from him. A mind-reading dolphin. Oh, a lot of sea creatures are empathetic. It's like a kind of magic. I mean, not the kind where you make things disappear. They'd need a wand for that. Fortunately, there's a thing called science to help the magic along. Lewis was trying to figure out a scientific way to make it easier for us to be mermaids. It won't work. <laughs> well, it mightn't let them mind meld with the jellyfish, but it will give them a chance to live like normal human beings. Well, no one can mind meld with a jellyfish. They're jellyfish. And these girls are not normal human beings. Yes, they are. What's happened to them might seem magical, but the cure will be scientific. Can science explain why whales sing? Yes. Yes, it can. Can it tell you what they're singing about? Anyway, we've got a dance to organize. Good luck. I have to promise to stick to one rule. No early finishing. Don't want people saying I laid some curfew on you. We can manage that. Good. Then go for it. Cool idea having it here. Yeah, it should make it a lot easier to organise the drinks. And the music. And the security which should free up some time for me to help with food and the lighting. It's a lot of organising. Yeah, whatever it takes. I'm going to make sure this is the best chance ever. Nothing's going to get in my way. Everyone who goes is going to have the best time. Cool. So, are you going? Don't see how I couldn't with all the work you're doing. So I'll see you there. What's wrong with you? Why don't you ask him to the dance? The guy asks the girl. That's how it works. Um, welcome to the 21st century. I don't have time to worry about it anyway. This dance is the last time our whole class is going to be together for the rest of the year. Exactly. The main thing is that we organise a great night for everyone. Lewis hasn't asked you either, has he? <sighs> Go and ask Lewis now. Do not make the same mistake certain other people made. As if you'd ever ask a guy. Of course I would. As it happens, Zane's already asked me so I don't have to. But I would have. Hi, guys. Claire's thinking about not going to the dance. She should definitely go, shouldn't she? We're both worried about getting wet. Uh, a dog always brings a water pistol. Oh, no, no, Ricky's right. You should definitely go. Oh, there's something I need to ask you. Really? Yes, which I will in a second. Now, do you guys remember my research? Well, I can now reveal that I am this close to a formula that'll make you guys waterproof. Really? It looks that way, which means that you'll certainly be able to go to the dance and anywhere else for that matter. Wasn't there something else you wanted to ask me? Oh, yes. Um, Cleo, I was wondering if you would like to give me one more hair sample. I just need to do one more test. Sorry, I needed a follicle. Bye. Hey, Spunky. You moved house lately? Uh-huh, no. Cool. 
I know where to pick you up from then. Does this have anything to do with the dance, mate? Can be if you want it to be. Yeah, I'm in the market for a chicky to take. No. Well, I'll leave you to think it over then. Catch ya. You are so lucky. Chicky. Well, the dance is tonight, so I'm gonna need the ice as soon as possible. Thanks. I can't believe you're letting him get away with this. If he wanted to take me to the dance, he'd have asked me. No, not you. Yeah, I'm sure you're too old for me. Just the ice will be fine. Thanks. And anyway, I'm not letting anyone get away with anything. I'm not even sure I want to go to the dance. Okay, so will it be board games or card games? I want to go. And if Lewis won't ask me, then... Look, I think you should give Lewis one last chance. Last being the operative word. Cleo, hi. Hey, Lewis. Lewis, is there anything you wanted to ask me? Yes, there is, actually. Really? And what would that be? Um, well, I, I, was, I was kind of embarrassed to ask any of the other girls, but... He wants a sample of my earwax. Right. Take no prisoners. Hey! Nate, I was just wondering if you'd still like to come to the dance with me. Cool. Oi! Wear something short. Tight. Short and tight. Are we covered up enough? Sure. Not even a tiny spray of water vapor could touch our skin. Do we look like dogs? No, no way. No way. Not a chance. Definitely We're fine. Not. Mm -hmm. We look like dogs. So you're definitely coming? Well, I'm the dance organizer. It's my responsibility. You're all here. Brilliant. We're all out of navel lint, Lewis. Oh, no, no, I don't need any more specimens. My research is finally complete. Cleo. We don't need deodorant either, Lewis. It's not. But I've developed an amino acid Teflon derivative compound that, when in contact with skin, resists moisture. You mean it'll waterproof us? How can you be sure? Well, I'm not. But this second bottle, it's full of water. Lewis, I've already packed my towel in my bag. You better be ready to catch me when this tail appears. Do you see a tail? We don't have to worry about getting wet anymore. That means we can wear what we want to the dance. Yes! yes! What do you think? Sounds like a compliment to me. Cleo, I am so sorry. I just, I just got so caught up in my research. I just I lost track and I just, I didn't realise the dance was so soon. I... But seeing as you're all dressed, I just thought perhaps you and I, uh, we could, well, I, you know, together I thought perhaps uh, this is only if you want to. Yeah, someone's here for you. I thought I said something short and tight. What? Nothing. Should we get going? Lewis, you're not coming? Um, I might get there later. Well, you should bring a hose then. Because it's gonna be hot.
by Lewis. You're letting my daughter go with him? No, it's not really up to me. Of course it is. She only ever talks about you. Come on, Lewis. You're better than that, Goose. Really? Now, mates later. Really messed it up, haven't I? You know, there is such a thing as cutting in. Then he said how great you wanted to be and how much work you had to do and nothing was going to get in your way. So I took a hint. That wasn't a hint. It wasn't. Hey, come over here, man. We've got a one. Um... All right. Enough. I did mention about deodorant. Oh. Well, maybe you could help me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> oh, sorry. We used it all up. That's okay. You guys needed it more than I did. You sure you're not angry? I mean, you really are red in the face. No, the smell of body odor tends to do that to me. Well, it looks more like blood pressure. <laughs> I was trying to convince you how great the dance would be so you'd ask me. Right. I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. I'm not embarrassed. You look hot. I'll go get you a drink then. Whoa! You really need to take a break. Formula. Of course it's from the formula. What do we do about it? 
Well, it's probably just like a, a, a minor allergic reaction. I'll need to do some more tests. More earwax? Ideally. And how is that going to help us now? You ruined our night, Lewis. Look at us. I say we run for it. You can, you can barely notice it. There you are. You're not red. Let me see if you can do the splits. Obviously, the formula only reacts with our human skin. Now that we're mermaids, it doesn't affect us. And that helps us how? Just as Byron was about to make a move. Really? That's fantastic. Yeah, and then I turned into a tomato pizza and ran out on him. At least your guy is showing an interest. Tiffany, there's something that I, I have to ask. Yes, Lewis? May I have a toenail specimen? Yes, Lewis. Have the, uh, have, have the girls come back yet? Would we be sitting here like losers if they had? Well, I'm sure they won't be long. Do you think they're at home? Something's happened. Oh. Well, let me guess. A little pop has told you that. Am I wrong? Yes. No, you're right. I messed everything up. I told you, science and magic don't mix. No, but science works most of the time. Can science really explain what goes on in your heart? Especially tonight. All right, okay. Just for argument's sake, let's say magic exists. What good does that do me? How can I use it? Well, who knows? It's magic. No, but the girls need my help. And if, if, I, if science doesn't work and there's no operating manual for magic, then what am I supposed to do? Be their friend. Though it mightn't seem like much. And you mightn't get it right every time. But those girls need a friend like you. That's it. That's all I've got. Nearly back to normal. Just looks like we used too much flusher. They'll be packing up the dance by now. Guys! Guys, are you there? Uh, so it's just about worn off then? Just in time to help stack the chairs, Lewis. I'm sorry. I had no idea something like this was gonna happen. I was trying to help, and I still want to. Do we get choice of colour this time? Em, you might want to know that Byron's still at the dance. He was, he was waiting to see whether you'd come back or not. Not anymore, he won't. He'll be walking Miriam home. If he asked to go to the dance, he'd feel responsible for her. But he didn't ask her, she asked him. Tiffany told me between handstands. So I guess Miriam was able to get her clothes into Zane? No way. Last I saw, she was stuck dancing with Nate and his mates. Really? Yes. Zane asked them to keep her away from him. He was. Nate was asking about you. I only went with him because no one else asked me to go. Am I that no one else? 
Yes. But you didn't seem interested. Which was really annoying. Because I'm interested in you. Really? Do we keep sticking around, or...? I guess it's getting late. Byron! to say. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm interested in you too. Wow, um, is, is it like, like a friend thing? Like a colleague? I hope not. I, I, I don't think so. It, that's not what I meant. Um, <sighs> Cleo, it's just that the exact definition, it's not easy. It's not. You're still trying to analyse this after everything we've been through. You're absolutely right. M Miss Chatham's right. No, not everything can be explained scientifically. In fact, I'm not even going to try and figure it out anymore. I just want to go with the magic. Works for me. Oh. I think I could get to like this magic. Get used to it, Lewis. Mm -hmm.